Olympia Fulvia Morata in Cicaronis Paradoxa, Episode 7. Ceterum, quia nulla res eret unquam tam ardua, ana princeps, quae si mihi ate impanatur, quam detrectem, obedientiam, putius quam taceturnitatem, elegi et idem mihi usawenit, quod me in quidam fabula legisse, com memini de colone, onus recusante, cui integrum erat, quicquid sarcinae well et tolere, modo ne vacuus abiret. Olympia has just stated the reasons why she should not be involved in the world of letters, and now she says, but, ceterum, because nulla race, no circumstance, no task, will ever be, eret unquam, will ever be tam ardua, so difficult, princess Anna. Eret is a third singular future indicative active from esse, and notice we have here tam, quam, used correlatively, ardua and race and nulla, all three of these are feminine singular and nominative, as the subject of eret, and Anna princeps is feminine singular and vocative, as she speaks to the addressee. But, because no task will ever be so difficult, Princess Anna, a task which, quae, if you should place it upon me, which, if it is placed by you upon me, so mihi is feminine, singular, and dative, imponatur, third singular, present subjunctive, passive, from the third conjugation verb, imponere, so mihi is the indirect object, the subject is quae, whose antecedent is race, and ate is an ablative of agency. So to repeat, but because there will be no task ever so difficult, Princess Anna, which if it is placed upon me by you, so difficult that I should refuse it, detrectem, present active subjunctive, first singular, from the first conjugation verb detrectare, like so, she says, obedience, Aboidientium, rather than taciturnitatem, rather than silent resistance, you might say, taciturnity, I have chosen, elegi. This is from the third conjugation verb, eligo, eligere, like so, I have chosen obedience rather than taciturnity, quiet resistance. And the same thing seems to me to have come into use, or the same idea seems to have occurred to me, or has has uh, become common to me, mihi usi venit, which, which I remember commemini to have read, which I remembered that I read, me legisse, in qua dam, this is qua dam, perhaps I said qui dam when I read through it, but that's mistaken, obviously, which I read in a certain story. This is a story, day, concerning or about calone, which is masculine, singular, and ablative, about a servant who was refusing recusante, a burden, a servant who was refusing, i.e., to carry a package. And then she continues with this relative clause, cui integrum erat, to whom, meaning the callo, colone, to whom it was untouched or complete, integrum. So what then is the subject of erat, of which integrum is the predicate? It's this clause, the quicquid sarcini wellet tolere, to whom whatever from the bag, sarcini, feminine, singular, and genitive, this is a package or a bundle, referring to the burden, the onus, to whom whatever of the bag he wanted to take away, so whatever in the bag the kalo wanted to take out, tolera, was untouched, integrum erat. And then we have this proviso clause, provided that, or only so long as he did not go away or depart, empty-handed, vacuous. Abired is a third singular, imperfect subjunctive active, from the irregular verb abire, and vacuous is masculine singular and nominative as its subject.